Good evening and welcome to Chicago Tonight. I'm Phil Ponce on this Thursday, December 1st. It's of interest. We're answering phone calls for takeout orders. I mean, it was just woven into our lives. And growing up with a Chinese restaurant on the first floor, an extended family upstairs, and a killer train set in the basement. The story behind our neighborhood Chinese lunch spot. All that and more next on Chicago Tonight. For many years, one of our WTTW regular lunch places has been a small Chinese restaurant called Hunan Wok. But soon they say they will be closing. Another neighbor of ours, Northeastern Illinois University, is expanding and has acquired that stretch of Bryn Mawr Avenue. It's been a controversial issue in our neighborhood, but this next story is not about that controversy. It's about the building that houses Hunan Wok and the story it has to tell. Jay Shevsky explains. This is Hunan Walk, still open for business and serving tasty Chinese food with no MSG. But Hunan Walk isn't the only Chinese restaurant that's been on this site. First, there was Tong's Tea Garden, which opened in 1954. The Tong family built the building, ran the restaurant, and lived upstairs. Now, after more than 60 years, Bill and Dolly Tong are moving their elderly mother out of this apartment. This is where we grew up. We operated the restaurant for 30 years. For us, it was the normal way of life. You know, we would um, just live our lives, go to school, do our homework, um, but in between, we're serving customers. We're packing takeout orders. We're answering phone calls for takeout orders. I mean, it was just woven into our lives. It all started in 1927, when Dolly and Bill's grandfather, Tan Sum Tong, came to the U.S. to support his family back home. He thought he would stay for just a few years, but after serving in World War II, he was granted citizenship and stuck around. After the war, his family says, he lived in temporary GI housing right down the street. With his wife and son, he bought a little carryout place nearby. Business was good. My grandpa said, we need our own place, so we're not paying rent. and We need a place where we can live and not commute. The commute from Chinatown to Bryn Mawr Avenue, 363 days a year, was a grind. But it could be tough for a Chinese family to rent outside of Chinatown. When they built the place, they decided to build the apartment here. Nobody could evict them because they owned the property. All in all, life in the Hollywood Park neighborhood was good. It's almost like a little small town feel in this neighborhood. But living outside of Chinatown had its drawbacks especially if your first language was Chinese. You know, the kids, some of them were bullies, and they saw that I looked different, and, you know, they made fun of me, and my vocabulary was limited. But, you know, eventually, you know, I got to be friends with them. As a kid, Bill developed a passion down in the basement that he was eager to show me. Here it is. It turns out that all these years that we've been buying lunch at Hunan Walk upstairs, there's been this remarkable train set hiding here in the basement. How did you get interested in trains? My dad always loved trains. Bill and his dad first set it up when he was in seventh grade. By high school, it had grown to this size and complexity, loaded with all the detailed touches beloved by any model train buff. By his mid-twenties, Bill had lost interest and the set mostly collected dust for 30 years. But he knew he needed to revive it one last time. This was never made to be moved. He's added some new trains, including one for a certain Northside baseball team. How are you feeling about shutting this down after all these years? It's going to be very emotional. It's something I grew up with. It was something my dad built. I, I may not be able to do it all at once. For Chicago Tonight, this is Jay Shevsky. Nice. Dolly and Bill Tong say they'll be out of the apartment by the end of the month. The couple that owns Hunan Walk says they're not sure how much longer they'll stay in business. But in the meantime, Jay recommends the chicken with garlic sauce. Beef and broccoli isn't bad either. 
And that is our show for this Thursday night, abbreviated so we can bring you special pledge programming. I hope you join us tomorrow night at 7 for the Week in Review.